Hey everyone, and welcome back to Shrine of Secrets Showcase. We're taking the survivor perks and we're going to run with them and see how they work. At the very end, I'll give my opinions on them. Again, those are just opinions. If you guys find that those perks work for you, go for it. They'll be in the Shrine of Secrets for this week. We've got Diversion, which is a teachable from Adam Francis. Uh, begin with a being within the killer terrorist while not in a chase for 40 seconds activates for Diversion. Once it is activated, press the active ability button while crouched and motionless to throw a pebble, which creates a distraction for the killer at a distance of 20 meters. Perk timer resets once the ability has been activated. The distractions consist of a loud noise notification, scratch marks. It's also known as pebble. Uh, we've also got windows of opportunity, which we have sh shown before as well, and I think I've shown diversion. Um, but I'm going to keep going through these pretty much forevermore. Uh, we've got, it is a teachable from Kate Denson, and it is an aura reading perk. Auras of pallets, breakable walls, and vault locations are revealed to you with when within a 20 meter range. It has a cooldown of 30 seconds when vaulting or dropping a pallet during a chase. So, we're going to show these two off, and on killer side we got Hex Haunted Ground and Thrilling Tremors, but we're going to be showing just these two off, and we've got complete reset. So, seven days, you got a whole week try to get these perks and I've got my trusty assistant Azazel here jumping in as Jake we're taking Meg because she's got more like the most of these red envelopes and trying to get as much blood points as I can trying to get her fully done being prestige 3 because she is currently prestige 3 but she doesn't have all of the perks maxed as you can tell my windows is only level 1 and my diversion is only level two. So there's gonna be some little variations of the timing and the numbers. I'm also taking self care so I can heal myself. A first aid kit so I can go a little bit. Well, no, wait, hang on. I'm gonna take vigil instead of self care. Um, so this way I can recover my exhaustion faster with live. Cause I'm running live with the windows. So that way I can find vaults, be able to vault and get away, sprint away and then vigil this way we can all recover from exhaustion, hemorrhage, hindered, and blindness a bit faster, 20% faster. So we're going to give these a shot, try to jump in, get a couple matches, see how these perks work. Maybe bamboozle a killer with a pebble. We'll see how it goes. Torment Creek. All right. Corn. Mm. Fun fact. Oh, hey. There's a pallet. There's a window bolt. That is windows of opportunity. No, no ruin. Nice. Fun fact, by the by, I'm actually allergic to corn, which sucks. Doing, uh, during my amp guard days, we actually would go to the corn maze and, yeah, that was a whole lot of ow. It suck. Uh oh. It's a death slinger, by the by. I see you running away. Oh no, not death slinger. That's pyramid head. Boop. Boop. Oh, or did you use your sprint burst? You bloody fool. You're welcome. Got a little bit on my diversion. Won't be able to use it until I get into this terror radius. Uh oh. Okay, well, that happened. It's a P3 one, too. Oh, Jesus. Uh. Awkward. Man, every time I get near a pallet, I swear to God, his Azel's out in Narnia. <laughs> and of course, is he looking around? No. To know that I was able to be picked up 
No! Glad it's healing me. I didn't know that that Mia was, like, trying to hang around, but, you know. Got a little bit more in my pebble. Alright. He's trying to follow Claudette. Still with you? All right. Well, come backwards and you can hear a generator. Oh, oh, he's on that pressure. Which I'll prove got though. Of course, I'm giving this Abel his vigil, so he'll have... After. I don't know. I'm gonna come into the center one and try to work on it. Ooh, boy. Gulag. And who stepped in it? A Zazel. Oh, he knows. Oh, he knows. Oh, he knows. I stunned him! I'm about to live. I'm about to live. Bye! Oh, I didn't get very far. Oh, bollocks. I'm not stepping in your bullshit! I don't want to go to the gulag cage. Oh, my life is up. Stay, stay, I got another pebble. I got gulag right in, in, in front. Oh, that happened. I was about to say, I swear to God, if you keep running towards this hook, I'm going to be so not happy. Oh. You got the oubliette. Alright. Matushi. We come in. I've thrown two pebbles now. Oh, that vision. 
Vigil doing that? Yep, Vigil's doing that. I'm gonna- oh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, the door's 99. I'm gonna get hit. Ugh. He opened the door. He's got Blood Warden. Uh, now he sees you. Trails around me. Right in front of the hook is not covered. He sees you. He is now patrolling. And proxy. I mean, I don't know. Ganya yeah, got me. He took you deep. Yeah. Yeah. Because I ran him over here. Oh. Oh, man. I, I ran the way he wanted to. That's why he chased me down. If we make this. Because I'm a core and fool. Oh, Claudette's dead. Whee! We got to go. We got to go. I can get some heal points off of you. Oh, I know. Yeah, buddy. Oh. Yeah, we're not getting that. She's way too far. We're not getting that. It stuck her way over there with you. Poor Gladette. All right, GG's. Gas heaven. All right. Oh, look, we started together. Get up my leg here. No run. about diversion too is it could be a kind of sort of spying chilling away because you'll know the killer's getting close if it starts activating and you're like oh well this can't be good I'm in their terror radius somehow but they're way over there so don't have to worry about it just yet
That's a spirit. Oh, this is gonna suck. She's on my tush. Right at this given moment. Oh, give me a. Give me, give me, give me vault. Give me vault. Give me vault. Give me vault. Thank you. Somehow she thinks I'm still over there. Meg, don't hook bomb. You're injured. Okay. Probably gonna head back over there. She's breaking a pallet at the gas station. Nah, she's currently heading back at me again. She wants my little like big ass. Oh god. I'm going towards gas station. No, I'm not. Oh, do all right. I, I, I love how they can. Um... Oh, there's no way out of here. Oh, that works. Dumb. Dumb. Oh, there's a. Burning totem over here. I don't know if I want to. Yeah. Woo! Oh, this is where she gets me. Oh, never mind. Just kidding. I fucking dodged that. This is where I go down. <laughs> I ran as long as I could. Awesome. <laughs> Behind me, next to a truck, is a burning totem. I don't know if it's on the ground, but. She is chasing a Meg. Who is that killer shack? <laughs> Go ahead, you metal shit. I'm gonna go be the dumb and get this burning totem. It's probably haunted ground, but you know. Cool. No way. Devour hope. <laughs> Guess who's right on the totem for it too.
I knew you. I should have had you get that totem first before grabbing me. Okay. She will get you up. And y'all get me up. Now come get me. Actually, get the totem before you get me. Just get the totem. Right in front of me. In front of the car. Oh, she might be phasing back. Oh, she's phasing back. Picked me up, of course. If this Meg will come over here and get this totem, we'd be good. Come on, Cryptic. No, you're gonna, you're gonna. Okay. This is how we all die. Hook, you know, because this is happening. Grab me, go get the totem. I'm opening the goddamn door. I'm not dealing with that. <laughs> Zazel got the Mori, I'm out. The other two could have fun with that devour hope. Alright, and that does it for the Shrine of Secrets, guys. We had Diversion and Windows of Opportunity. Diversion actually almost saved my bacon in that last match. Unfortunately, Devour Hope destroyed my soul. <laughs> like, GTFO, I'm done. Screw that. And of course, we got to see Windows in action the entire time. So, as as far as like perks, I've I've said this before. Windows Opportunity is a pretty good perk, especially if you're trying to learn a map, know where the vaults are, know where pallets are, and the breakable walls, things like that. That's this is a very pertinent learning perk. Um, it's not very. I I don't use it in a whole lot of my builds because I'm just like too much information. I don't do not want, but I usually do take it whenever we have a new map or something and I'm trying to figure out where everything is, the law of the land. I also do uh, some of the other perks that show like the generators and, and where items are, you know, just kind of see where all the spawn points and everything are in the map. Diversion is a pretty good funny perk, especially you know, you run it with red herring and um, well, Azazel likes running it with Repressed Alliance. Uh, the other one I'm thinking of. Um, Deception. Like, being able to bamboozle the killer a lot is just... It's it's fun. It's all in good fun. So, I highly recommend like just giving him a shot. Um, Adam has some pretty other pretty good perks. Deliverance, Autodidact makes me cringe because I can instantly tell because my health bar will go down. And then start going back up and then go down and then I start sweating because I'm like, oh god, this is gonna take forever to heal. Um and, and Kate's actually got some good ones with dance with me whenever you know you vault something or you go at a fast action, you don't have scratch marks, and then her boil over, of course, keeps the killer from seeing the hooks that are close by, and you are able to at least deter them with your wiggle. So makes them harder, makes them 
have a harder time getting to a hook. So they've both both got some pretty good perks if you want to level them up. If not, you can go ahead and grab these from within the Shrine of Secrets. But that'll do for now, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you're enjoying the content, please like, subscribe, leave a comment. I do try to reply to all the comments. It does help out with the algorithm and everything getting noticed out there. And yeah, until next time, remember, to the world you may be one person, but to one person you may be the world. Laters. Thank you.